Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video, if it isn't obvious already from what's sitting behind me, we are looking at modded conveyors. Now this is called the AQD Conveyor Expansion, and I've chosen it because it's one of those mods that fits the vanilla game so well that it should simply be added in with the next major update. We've had plenty of conveyor mods over the years on the workshop, but this is the one which really does suit the base game. And the guy who has created it, or the girl who's created it, has done a top notch job at this. So walking over this lovely wooden skin, I absolutely adore this wooden skin. I've used it on quite a few of my new ships that I'm trying to build. Some of them are a bit big and over the top, but I'll eventually finish them. But yes, with the vanilla game, we got three little blocks. We have our conveyor straight, our conveyor corner, and our conveyor junction, which allows us to connect all the way around. But quite often, these three blocks are quite lacking. One, because if you have to go through a exterior, you're forced to use the junctions in order to plug a gap to make sure you stay airtight, which isn't always a great idea. Now, there has been armored conveyors on the workshop before, which do work, but they do stand out a little bit compared to the vanilla blocks. So with this pack, we get a nice number of blocks to be using. So we get some default blocks, what I'm calling default blocks. We get a T-junction, very nice. We have a four-way junction, which is very, very good if you want to avoid using the actual conveyor blocks when you're actually inside a ship to keep that kind of overhead wire look if you're doing that. We have a conveyor access. Now this is kind of neat, it's basically an air vent, a remodeled air vent, with a small little bit of storage, so if we came up to it, we could just click on it and access everything in the cargo container that the conveyor system is attached onto, without having to place down a actual cargo container block. Now these blocks, if I actually come over to here and find it, are exceptionally cheap compared to an actual small cargo container, so the access itself is five interior plates, five construction components, one a computer, one display, two motors, ten small steel tubes, two metal grids, fifteen construction components, and fifteen more interior plates, which is very, very cheap. If I was to come over here and find a cargo container, the small cargo container, so yeah, it's just flicking between them. It's a lot cheaper by almost half on most things. So they were like 20, 35 and 30 and then it just simply goes through half a little bit which is a lot nicer to build especially early on when you're trying to set up conveyors just to survive. Coming back to these ones, so the actual T-junction itself costs 4 interior plates, 6 motors, 12 small steel tubes, 20 construction components, 10 interior plates and 5 steel plates so that's not too bad. Then we come across to the 4-way junction which is exactly the same with the cost. If I was to switch over to a regular conveyor tube, I just flip between them. So there we are, that's the regular one, and there's that one. We just have to put in an extra five steel plates for these two additional blocks, which is very nice. But that's not all, oh no, we actually get some proper armoured blocks, which are basically the same as the ones we see over there, but they're built into a cube shape to ensure that you're always airtight if you wanted to put them around the edge of your ship for whatever reason. So the first one over here is the armoured straight. It's simply a conveyor junction with one axis on one side, one on the other, and it just is a block. We then have the same thing over there, which is the four-way junction in a block, and then we have a corner block, and then we have a T-junction block. So they're just alternatives to using the actual pipes themselves if you just wanted to keep everything all nice and square without having to fiddle around with these things. And that is that. So the actual costs themselves are, again, they're not that much compared to the regular blocks. So that's the junction, and then if I come across, they're basically the same, perhaps with a little bit extra steel plates and less steel tubes. Yes. I thought these were bloody fantastic blocks to be using, and I really hope something like this gets added into the base game. So I've gone ahead and set up everything over here in a massive confuddlement of conveyors. So we have our conveyor access in the dead centre and a small cargo container over there. It's just all looped around with as many of the blocks that I could interlap with each other and connect up to make sure everything was all working and that resources were actually able to push all the way through. 
So they all have to pass through one of the armoured blocks, which is a modded block in order to get round to that cargo container. So I'm just going to come over to here and put in my gun into the access. Which should mean, because I can put stuff in there, that if I came over to small cargo container 11, which is that one over there, yep, everything works all nicely. And to double check, there is the gun. So there is that. And that is it for this video. It's just a handy little block. Yes, there are other stuff on the workshop that you could use, but these ones do fit the vanilla blocks. Now, because I was expecting this video to be a little bit longer than it actually turned out, I'll show you what I mean by the confuddlement of conveyors that were on my ships. So this is my current design. It's a rather, rather rudimentary design. The front part is starting to take shape, whereas the actual back of the ship is still under construction with the whole interior before I do the outer shell and make it look all pretty. We've got some Tellion guns on here, which are all quite nice, and you can see the bridge up there. But if I just come around, let's just drop down over to here. I've got air vents under there. We can just walk through this bit. And I'll come down, in fact, I'll keep my lights turned off, to the main conveyor area. So this is my madness of conveyors, which is the reason why I actually chose that mod to begin with. This is my fake reactor, which is two jump drives, with some interior pillars holding up a gravity sphere. Yes, and these are the absolute madness of conveyors going everywhere. Yes, so there's that. There is just a jump drive with a spotlight on it with some blocks, half slope blocks, going up to a sphere, up there with nice green colouring. And yes, that, that is kind of it. If I come down here, it gets even worse, but it's not as impressive. There's just one hell of a lot of conveyors on there because I do like the look of the conveyors being overhead. But if I had access to that mod beforehand, I would have just built everything into the floors because that is one way you can completely get around with it using the conveyor expansion mod. So anyway, that is it for this video. Hopefully this has been helpful and I hope the mod proves useful to you if you choose to use it some point in the future. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.